On today's episode of The Brick Connection, we are going to be taking a deep dive into the new Disney princess set, Ariel's Mini Castle. The set was released January 1st, 2024, and like I mentioned, the set belongs to the Disney Princess Collection. The set has 557 pieces, zero stickers, and one minifig of Ariel. The set costed me $54.99 Canadian and is rated for ages 12 and up. Now this is the second mini castle that we have gotten from the Disney Princess Collection, the first being the mini Palace of Agrabah, but more on that later. This set was a lot of fun. Now look, I wasn't expecting anything crazy in terms of the building technique, and look, there wasn't really anything crazy, but I was definitely pleasantly surprised of how this build went and some of the techniques that were used in this build. These builds tend to be straightforward and on the easier side, which is fine. Again, this is rated for ages 12 and up. And once in a while, an easy straightforward set is just what you need. Now, you are gonna get a lot of smaller pieces. Again, we are building a mini palace. So I am talking about one by one pieces, one by one studs, and one by one plates. And at times, it can feel like these sets are gonna get tedious because again, it's a lot of small pieces, but these sets normally take give or take an hour, so even if they are a bit tedious, that feeling is not going to last long, I promise you. Now, I think it's safe to say that a set like this shines from the front. I mean, look at it. It looks great. But I had a feeling based on price and number of pieces that this set wasn't going to look great from all angles. Now, was I right about that? No. Was I wrong? Not really. Look, from the sides, it looks fine. It looks decent. It, nothing looks like it's out of place or missing. The back is definitely a different story. Now look, is it terrible? No. And it's not as bad as I thought it was initially going to be. But it definitely feels like it was an afterthought and something's missing. And for the most part, I can forgive that based on the value of this set being $55. I wasn't expecting perfection, but what I was expecting a great set. And from that point, it definitely delivers. Now, one other thing that I definitely do want to mention, even based on the price though, is that there are some things here that do feel a little fragile. I get it. This is not really intended to be a play set, but if you are going to make a set for ages 12 and up, then there is a good chance that 12 year olds are going to build and play with this set. And it can be a bit fragile if that's what it's going to be used for. But overall, honestly, I am really happy with this set and the build. Now I said this before, I will say it again, it definitely looks like LEGO is planning on releasing a lot more of these Disney mini castles. This is the second, the first being the mini Palace of Agrabah, and as much as I hate to do it, it's only natural that we compare the two. And I think it's safe to say that in the comparison, Ariel's castle just wins out by a smidge. It just feels like it captures a lot more of that Disney magic. I do want to mention though that I do like the mini Palace of Agrabah and I'm just as happy to have it a part of my collection as I am to have Ariel's. For me though, the most disappointing part about comparing these sets is that Ariel comes with a minifig of Ariel and the mini Palace of Agrabah doesn't. It doesn't come with any minifigs. So like I said, going forward, if LEGO is planning on releasing a lot more of these mini castles and palaces, the mini Palace of Agrabah is always going to feel like it's missing something and just come up short compared to the rest. Now let's get down to brass tacks and give it the brick connection score. Again, this will be based on three categories, value, aesthetic, and build with a total possible score of 15. For value, I paid $55 and got 557 pieces. I've gotten a lot less for a lot more and I feel like you're getting a great value. So I'm giving it four stars. For aesthetic, I do love the way this turned out and based on the pictures that I saw, I initially thought we were gonna be at four, four and a half. But honestly, the way the back turned out, I'm giving it three stars. For build, these sets don't tend to be crazy build with any crazy techniques going on. And I do wish that some of the parts were a bit more reinforced because at times they do feel fragile. That being said, it was still a fun and straightforward build. So I'm giving it three and a half stars giving Ariel's mini castle 10 and a half stars out of 15. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'll have my thoughts on the mini palace of Agrabah at the end of the video. So think about checking that out. Now, if you haven't, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, my name's Luigi and this is The Brick Connection.